so Heavenly, Heavenly Father, during the month of December, when we celebrate the birth of our Savior and prepare for the entrance into a new year, let us pray that we, we might always give glory to God and as as the angels did it at his birth. Amen. Amen. Okay, so the first thing we've got here is uh, the first Jerry. items are actually mine. So, <clears throat> so on December 9th, uh, for financials, I approved the revenue certification from JFS for additional revenue received in their workforce investment. And on December December 9th, I approved for maintenance. He approved the hiring of Nicholas Tilk to the position of full-time seasonal help at the rate of $10.25 per hour to be effective December 14th, 2020 through April 30th, 2021 for up to 13 weeks, not to exceed a combined total of 960 hours work and concurred with Chester Township trustees in not requesting a hearing on the liquor license being requested by True North Energy LLC, located at 8500 Mayfield Road, Chesterland, Ohio. And on December 14th, for water resources, I accepted the resignation of George Haggerty, McFarland Wastewater Treatment Plant Supervisor, to be effective December 26, 2020. I accepted the resignation of Julie Cordell, Accounts Payable Assistant, to be effective December 26, 2020. And granted permission to advertise for the position of full-time Accounts payable assistant. This position will remain open until fall. Will remain posted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Will remain open until fall too. So then, we have uh, water resources. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, fellow Americans. Good morning. So we have four items this morning for contracts. The first one. Customs Board approve and execute the service contract agreement with Harper Well and Pump. Incorporated the 20 well pump replacement services in Scranton Woods Water for the remainder of 2020. And the amount not to exceed 12,000. I'll make that motion. Second. Mr. DeBoer. Yes. Mr. Right. Second one, we also request the Board approve and execute the service contract agreement with Cornerstone Earthworks to perform full depth manhole restoration for the department. For six month period and the amount not to exceed twenty seven thousand five hundred dollars. I'll make that motion. Second. Motion to Yes. Mr. Spillard. Third, the department is also requesting the board approve and execute the engineering agreement between Georgia County Commissioners and Klaus Pyle, Sean Burns, and D. Haven Incorporated, doing business as GPD Group for Bainbridge Township Water Line Loop Club closed the project with the amount not to exceed ninety five thousand dollars. So move. Second. Mr. DeWare? Yes. Mr. Our last contract requests the board approve and execute the expansion of sewer access of the sewer. Well, this isn't a contract. No. Uh, <laughs> it's on a roll. Uh, approve and execute the expansion of the sewer access easement as both grantor and grantee yes. for parcel 25 704085 of approximately 1.5 acres located on Main Market Road in Parkman Township. So right. move. Hold on a second. You have to sign the top again, okay. the bottom. There's second. Is there a, um, a cost for this easement? No. Okay. No. We the, the county owns it, but I want to. Exp uh, that's that property down in, in uh, Parkland that we would like to sell. Okay. But we we decided to expand the easement for the lift station and access before it was sold. Made more sense. Okay. And that's okay. all I have this morning. Motion needed. I have a motion. I just need a second. Second. Mr. DeWare? Yes. Mr. Spiller. Okay. Any other questions, I'll leave? No. Steve, thank you okay. so much. Have a good day. Talk okay. to you later. Yes, sir. Morning, Jerry. Um, can I have one of the, you I two just days. neglected to print one of those out. Can I take that? You can just so can borrow it? it and then hand it back to me and yes. then we'll pass it down. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Okay, the first item here uh, next on the agenda is um, the CARES Act uh, resolution of acceptance. Um, today's resolution includes $18,786.44, $3,959.01 for reimbursement, which includes $2,911.37 for aging, for sanitation supplies, supplies for printing remote programming packets, 
food pantry storage cart, six WebEx licenses, 10 laptop bags, five phone minute cards, and 20 wireless headsets for remote working, and an inter intercom for their visitor entrance. Also included is $1,047.64 for water resources, which includes uh, supplies, uh, including soap and other sanitation um, supplies. For the proposed, we have $14,000. $827.43. Um, this includes $7,940.40 for aging, for 15 Cisco IP phones and related accessories for remote working of staff. <coughs> Sorry, off. Sorry. Cut. <laughs> and $6,887.03 for planning, which includes one laptop with two desktop printers and accessories for remote, remote working and one 36-inch Design Jet T830 printer scanner for social distancing and the elimination of equipment sharing. And that's it. Okay. I make that motion. Second. Commissioner Yeah. Right. Thank you. Anything else, Adrian, then, as far as the other financials, then? Yeah, I do have, uh, there, there's quite a bit of financials today. I apologize for the, the length of this. So the next item on the agenda is the, the um, financials for today. Financials include a supplemental transfer to the sheriff for miscellaneous reimbursements that were deposited into the general fund. Cash transfers from the general fund to court technology for the remainder of their 2020 funding. To, from the general fund to airport construction, building improvements, capital reserve, 911 and 800 communications permanent improvements funds for future capital expenditures from the general fund to the sheriff's 800 communications fund for their second half 2020 support and a transfer from the general fund to the victim witness assistance fund to pay our local match for the VOCA grant period october 2020 through september 2021 this also includes an additional four thousand dollars that the prosecutor surrendered from his budget from this year to make up for a funding deficit uh, from the state. How much? Four thousand. And he um, he had uh, obviously travel left over in his budget, so he asked if we could uh, move that four thousand dollars from his budget and then put it into the victim witness uh, fund. So, okay. Encumbrances include an encumbrance increase for then design architecture for requested changes to some of the drawings for the new county office building. A then and now from municipal court to John Bosco for appointed counsel fees not previously encumbered. And a purchase order from Water Resources to Glouse Pile, Shomer, Burns, and DeHaven Incorporated for engineering services related to the Bainbridge Township Water Line Loop Project. Among the vouchers are 99500 from the COVID Relief Fund to Junction Auto Sales. For four 2021 Jeep compasses, that's two for aging and two for the building department. $347,802.75 from the commissioner's office to the Portage Jaga Joint Juvenile Detention Center for our second, third, and fourth quarter 2020 funding commitments. $165,057 from the commissioner's office to Donnelly's Independence Incorporated for pay request number one on GMP number one for the construction of the new county office building. 128855 from the engineer's office to the village of South Russell for the county's share of the Daisy Lane Improvements Project. And finally, 254386 from Water Resources to Workman Industrial Services for pay request number 10 on the Auburn Corners Troy Oaks Upgrades and Conversion Project. So moved. Second. Commissioner DeVoy? Yes, Mrs. DeVoy. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Adrian. <laughs> um, Adrian, are you going to do the next one? Gila. Oh, okay, sure. <coughs> Since you were handling it this time, yeah. back for you. you know, it, it was on the flip side of the page, so I didn't want Sorry. to pay attention. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so the next item on the agenda is uh, our first renewal to the credit card <laughs> services agreement with Gila LLC, which does business as MSB or Municipal Services Bureau. This provides credit card payments uh, for expenses owed to the various departments under the commission, Commissioner's Hiring Authority, as well as people that want to make use of the services. Um, right now, basically, it's aging and the building department that primarily use that. 
and this will extend it uh, from December 14th of 2020 through December 14th of 2021. We have one more option to add another year after this. And there's no cost to the county for this. Great. All right, I'll make that motion. Second. Should have more. Yes. I Thanks, Adrian, for all you do. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. I wasn't sure if they were coming today or not, so I had this prepped. So, so what do we, Joe, County, okay. This so, I'd like to make a motion to uh, um, recognize the airport authority as requesting board approve and execute resolution 20174, claiming December 2020 as General Aviation Appreciation Month. I make that motion. Second. Richard DeVore? Yes. Just go ahead. Aye. Is there a resolution for that? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I, that was the one that I sent you guys, but I prepped. You did a nice job on that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, 11, 12, and 13 so was to postpone until next week, uh, given some recent adjustments to the, to the process from the prosecutor's office. So 11, 12, and 13 are being pulled today. Yes. Okay. So, county engineer, um, just so on your items, Shane. Um, for the OPWC, mm -hmm. we will still have, we'll still authorize him to sign them and he will come in later this week and sign them. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, the first two items are uh, construction related for 2020 projects, item 14, requesting the board approve and execute change order number one and final for the contract with Lionel Paving for the asphalt resurfacing of Caves Road sections A through D. Uh, in the reduction amount of $54,231.55. All right, so moved. Second. Mr. Devore? Yes. Mr. Uh, number 15, uh, the engineer's office requesting the board approve change order number one and final, increasing the contract to Guild Farms for the drainage improvements on Russell Road. Uh, that project had an increase of $4,391.32. So moved. Second. Mr. Devore? Yes. Mr. Devore? Right. Uh, the next three items are related to next year's OPWC projects. Uh, item 16, engineer's office requesting board approval and execute resolution 20-175, appointing uh, Tim Lennon as the chief executive officer and certifying representative for the asphalt resurfacing of Auburn Road, County Highway 4, sections I through J, Newbury Township, further moved to approve and authorize the chief executive officer to execute the State of Ohio Public Works Commission application for financial assistance. So moved. Second. Mr. DeVar. Yes. Okay. Item 17, similar to 16, is appointing Commissioner Lennon to be the CEO for the Thompson Road Resurfacing Project for Ohio Public Works Commission application. So moved. Second. Mr. DeVar. Yes. Just the right. And finally, the commissioner's office, the engineer's office is, is requesting the commissioners appoint uh, Commissioner Tim Lennon as CEO for the asphalt resurfacing Butternut Road, County Highway 21, Sections D and E, in Munson and Newberry, to, and to apply for the Ohio Public Works Commission application. So moved. Second. Commissioner DeVar. Yes. Commissioner Spider. Okay. So All those two. Okay, hey, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. So we're not doing the accept the resignation of Denise? Uh, no, 11, 12, and 13 were skipped. They're being moved to next week right. because um, late last evening, uh, Laura sent um, something else that's changing what we're doing. Okay. So we will revisit all of it and get it proper next week. So then we would just have planning next? Then? Yep. Yep. And Linda here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. good. Okay. Uh, number 19 is for... Bridgeway Estates, a replat for Bridgeway Estates in Lake Lucerne. This was actually in front of the Planning Commission and the Commissioners earlier this year in June. You actually signed the plat in June, and then unfortunately the original of Mylar got lost in the mail, and they had to reprint it and do it all over again. Oh, wow. So this is the same plat, more or less, that you signed in June. Um, it just has to be redone because the original Mylar is still lost. It's amazing, this postal service. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> it happened to be one of the townships didn't get their packet and in, t in time I had to email everything to them. So yeah. it, it, it happened to me, so I can uh, appreciate their, the owner's frustration on this one. No, no problem. So I'll make that motion. 
Second. We should have worked. Yes. It's just delay. All right. They're labeled as to which one is which. Okay. So that's 19, mm -hmm. this is 20. All right. It's just the one signature here? Yes. There's just one section. Can you? Yeah, this, this oh, side should be fine. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's the next one, that's 20. Right. So if you want to go ahead and read off okay. 20 then, Linda. Okay, 20 is for uh, the dedication plat of sanitary sewer line and sanitary pump station easement. Uh, this is a project through the Department of Water Resources. So the extension of the sewer line requires a plat. This was approved uh, by Planning Commission just at their meeting uh, here in, in um, December. So it's going to extend about uh, just shy of 2,900 feet of sanitary sewer line on the south side of Wing Road. And uh, this is the final step to get it recorded um, uh, so that, um, that the plat can be of official record. Do we need both of, them? Both of these or just the top? I think it's just, just the top. Yeah, just the top. Okay. Sounds like the plan. I'll make that motion. Second. Yes. Right. Do you want to take these with you, or do you need to sign something here, Christine? If you're going to do that, just make sure the date is complete for your signing. Okay. And then she can she can take them. Okay. So this. As long uh, as the date's complete, we're good to go. Today is the 15th. Ten of days December. till Christmas. I don't see the date. Oh, yeah, yeah they missed the date one. Okay. There's this one here. Rubber date on there. Yeah. And I'll just no, send you a trip back. Day. Okay. She's going to talk about it. Okay. And the last one is for a replat. This is in Hunchburg for Windmill Point. Um, the Mathis's own a um, sublot that um, they're, they're purchasing five acres of adjoining land from the Sugar and Valley Astronomical Society and consolidating it with their lot for a total of 6.5968 acres. Um, that was pretty straightforward uh, replant, but it does have, to, <coughs> does have to go through the official process. So moved. Second motion. Mr. Blair. Yes. Mr. Blair. Right. Okay. I'll get these signed for you, too. Right. You'll be on your way. Perfect. Uh, I tried to put stickies where you were. So maybe you put it over here. This is. Right here. Yeah, there's usually a date on there. So today is going to be the 15th of December. A I know, and it's like I like I open them just to make sure, and I'm like, okay. all right, I gotta find them. Yeah, that's it. Like where they're, where they're that's going. Good. Is that all? That's it. That's it. All right. Well, thanks for coming over. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Everybody the holidays. Yeah, you yep. do the same. Yeah. It's a mess in there. Oh, yeah. All right, Linda, you take yeah. care now. Thank Good you. seeing you. Good you. Yeah. All right, so we've got Jessica. Okay. How are you doing, Jessica? Good. Good, good. All right. Okay, so everywhere on Jessica's motion, it says president, it's going to be vice president. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Um, so this is about contracts. Um, number 22 and 23 go together. Um, Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging um, granted us um, $276,015.15 for programs for seniors. However, they funded us for programs that we're not currently providing. So in number 23, they decided to modify the contract okay. to um, specify what the programs um, that we are actually providing that they would fund us for, which include our social services, our medical transportation trips, 
our virtual adult day programming, and we did leave some room for transportation for adult day care should the senior centers open up in 2021. Yeah. So it's a contract and then the modification of the contract. Okay, I'll make that motion. Second. Mr. DeVore? Yes. Mr. Blair? Aye. And that was 22 and 23. Correct. Yes. For okay. both. And then number 24 is also a grant from Western Reserve, Area Agency on Aging. It's for MIPA, and what that is, it's um, to provide us some um, support for the administrative work that we do, helping individuals get on um, income assistance plans with Medicare. So if we find someone as low income, we help find assistance for their, to cover the premium, their drug costs, so it just helps with the administrative overhead. Nice. I'll make that motion. Second. Commissioner DeBoer? Yeah. Mr. Spiller. Yes, on the top line. Well, thank you. You have a good day. Thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. So we've got the uh, Dave is here from Community Development. Hey, Morning. Dave. How are you doing? Good. Morning, Dave. Morning. I thought I heard some snoring back there. Nice tight, man. Yeah. <laughs> right up. I got the. No, I got the. It's golfing. Santa's golfing. <laughs> so today I'm requesting the board uh, reappoint Daniel Plant. He's uh, vice president of Lendage at Middlefield Bank to the Java County Fair Housing Commission for a two-year term through December 31st of 2022. He's been doing a good job for you, Dave? Yeah, he's yeah. been there for a year. I talked to him. He's very happy to be asked to okay. be reappointed. So. All right. I'll make that motion. Second. Commissioner Blount? Yes. Hi. Great. Thank you. Have a good day, Dave. You too. Morning, Roger. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm well. Good, good. <coughs> so every year we come before you uh, asking you to <coughs> sign and execute an agreement between our agency and the LEPC. Uh, what that does is uh, DES does the administrative support, the emergency response coordinator, the secretary treasurer, as well as uh, the maintenance of all required chemical filing forms for the year. And it's a $10,000 agreement that DES receives from LEPC. Very nice. I'll make that motion. Second. Mr. DeVore? Yes. Hi. Thanks for doing a great job, Roger. Thank you. Honestly, you've been doing a you know, keeping everybody up to date with stuff and yeah, have all the nursing homes with yeah. supplies and things. Yeah, so far so good. Thank you again, Roger. Okay. And I'll try not to lose that contract of living on the post office. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. I'll make sure it gets in her office too. Okay. <laughs> and she isn't even here to hear that. <laughs> all right. And then we've got the. Uh, JFS. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. I haven't seen you in a while? Yeah, a couple times a year. Yeah. Okay. Good, morning. good morning. All right. So what have you got today? Well, we have the submission of our percentage of income payment plan grant. Okay. Uh, the amount is just 5573 Okay. We need the commissioner's approval. Yep, I'll make that motion. Second. Yes. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you, Rex. Good Have seeing you. Have Christmas. a good Christmas. Yep. Okay. Bye bye now. Bye. Okay. Uh, we have maintenance. Hey, Rex. Morning. Morning. How are y'all? Good, good buddy. <laughs> I think that's what he was waiting for. <laughs> this is for the uh, garbage, rubbish, uh, went out, got quotes, so uh, major came back, a whole lot cheaper than uh, waste management did and everything, so as much as I hate saying it, we're going to be switching out dumpsters. And, so, and doing the whole works, but bringing it together as a group, so it re has really saved this county a whole lot of money in the last yeah. five, six years going this way. So, have you used this company before? No, I have not. So, where are they based on? Um, Leroy. Okay. Yeah, they're out on uh, Room and Room, I think it is, out there. Make that motion. So good. Commissioner 
Okay, good seeing you. Yep. Thank you. You all take care. Have a good day. Thanks Merry too Christmas. for all you've been year. doing this uh, year with uh, everything. All right. So yeah. the other thing is, is uh, <coughs> yeah, this is the uh, the bond paperwork for our bond for the for the building. We went out uh, last week. Was out on the market. Uh, came back at one point two three two percent, which is really good. Um, we did we did have prior to that we were rated as a double A one. This is a bank qualified bond, so that got us an even lower rate. That's why we we're doing the two separate bonding. This one and then the one we'll do in January. So this is sent to approve and execute the signature of not of no litigation certificate, the official statement and certificate concerning the preliminary official statement and the official statement and further authorize the president of the board to execute the continuing disclosure agreement and the bond register agreement for the nine million six hundred twenty five thousand dollar county building improvement bonds series twenty twenty. I'll make that motion second. Commissioner Brown? Yes. Okay, we're going to weed through the pile here of what actually it is. Here is the signature and notification certificate. Um, there's a line for each commissioner to sign. Okay. Um, and then the um, auditor and prosecutor also has to sign it as, um, as well as me. And then uh, treasurer. And then here is the concluding statement. Um, they did not provide lines. You just have to sign above your name. Okay. And again, same with the. Um, Okay. And then um, before you leave, I just have to have you each sign a piece of paper for the bond. Okay. Because they're not actually sending the actual bond. Um, in the resolution, he was approved to put your signature on there. Um, <coughs> actually, carry your bond anymore. So they will be placed, and then the Huntington will put the actual wet signature on it and keep it in the Okay. Jim, on this one here, there's no sticker, but make sure you sign the back page. Yeah, that's a copy. And then Chuck is reviewing documents, and then he will be signing them. Jim is coming down around 10 to do his, and then we'll have to have him come in to do the rest. Okay. Can I get a motion to adjourn then? Christine, what do you want on this one here? Um, you just have signed that, that line, and then on the next page, the next page back, it has the okay. uh, name and. Christy, just sign right here. Um, Ralph signed it as vice president. So that's okay. enough. Okay, that's, yeah. that's enough. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, red stickies are just vice president. Okay. And then Jim, on this one, just make sure you sign that back page on this one, too. Okay. Christine, uh, since the meeting is adjourned, I do have a question hmm. regarding um, the bond, um, the last item. So when when is there any word about when that instrument will be offered for uh, for the public uh, for for actual to review purchase? the documents? No, no, no. For actual purchasing of, of they the, they went out they went out to bid last week so to yeah. the banks for the first note, which was the ten million dollar, okay. and then the middle of January they will go out for the second one, which is the sales tax bond for the it's twenty million. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and both are tax free, correct? Um, well, there's the interest rate that they got for the first one was the one point two three percent, and that's for yeah, that's on the bond. Sure that okay, that's it's a little that's different that's from that's the that's notes right. that we've done in the okay. past, where when we did the note before, it was renewed for every year. They this would make like a like a oh. payment, and then it was renewed. This one is not like that. This is totally different. This is actually a bond. Right, so and it's continuing. It it's has, a, it has a um, renewal option in five years. Every five-year call, 
option on it. So, so um, it's, it's okay. different. So that's why the interest on this one is a little bit higher than nice you would interest. normally see it, but still, that, that's a and great it's really, rate. Yeah, it's really good interest yes. for, for a 30 year bond. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Actually, the, uh, the interest on the gentleman that we had doing this for us mm -hmm. with Sincina said that is the lowest rate you've seen all year. Lowest? Oh, yeah. Lowest all year. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Fabulous. So and it was actually lower. We were rated double A one and he said it was actually lower than one they did the week before that was a triple A rated. <laughs> so Wow. Well that'd be interesting that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, there's usually a date on there. So today is going to be the 15th. December. It's done a little differently. I know, and it's like I like I open them just to make sure, and I'm like, okay. all right, I gotta find them. Yes, yeah, I'm sure they can stick to where they're going. That's good. Is that all? That's it. That's it. All right. Well, thanks for coming over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody enjoy the holidays. Yeah, you yep. do the same. Yeah. All right, Linda, you take care now. Good seeing you. Yep. All right, so we got Jessica. How are you doing, Jessica? Good. Good, good. All right. Okay, so everywhere on Jessica's motion that says president, it's going to be vice president. Okay, okay. very good. Sounds good. Um, so this is about contracts. Um, number 22 and 23 go together. Um, Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging um, granted us um, $276,015.15 for programs for seniors. However, they funded us for programs that we're not currently providing. So in number 23, they decided to modify the contract okay. to um, specify what the programs um, that we are actually providing that they would fund us for, which include our social services, our medical transportation trips, our virtual adult day programming, and we did leave some room for transportation for adult day care should the senior centers open up in 2021. Yeah. So it's a contract and then the modification of the contract. Okay, I'll make that motion. Second. Commissioner DeBoer? Yes. Commissioner Blair. Hi. And that was 22 and 23. Correct. Yes. For okay. both. And then number 24 is also a grant from Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging. It's for MIPA, and what that is, it's um, to provide us some um, support for the administrative work that we do, helping individuals get on um, income assistance plans with Medicare. So if we find someone's low income, we help find assistance for their, to cover the premium, their drug costs. So it just helps with the administrative overhead. Nice. I'll make that motion. Second. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yes, on the top line. Well, thank you. You have a good day. Thanks for coming in. So we've got the... Dave is here from Community Development. Hey, Dave. How are you doing? Good. Morning, Dave. Morning. I thought I heard some snoring back there. Nice tag, yeah. Light up. I got the... No, I got the... It's golfing. Santa's golfing. So today I'm requesting the board reappoint Daniel Plant. He's uh, vice president of Wendage at Middlefield Bank to the Java County Fair Housing Commission for a two-year term through December 31st of 2022. He's been doing a good job for you, Dave? Yeah, he's yeah. been there for a year. I talked to him. He's very happy to be asked okay. to be reappointed. So. All right. I'll make that motion. Second. Commissioner Barack? Yes. Hi. Great. Thank you. Have a good day, Dave. You too. Morning, Roger. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm well. Good, good. <coughs> so every year we come before you uh, asking you to <coughs> sign and execute an agreement between our agency and the LEPC. Uh, what that does is uh, DES does the administrative support, the emergency response coordinator, the secretary treasurer, as well as uh, the maintenance of all required chemical filing forms for the year. And it's a $10,000 agreement that DES receives from LEPC. Very nice. I'll make that motion. Second. Mr. DeVore. Yes. Hi. Yeah. Thanks for doing a great job, Roger. Thank you. Honestly, he's been doing a you know, keeping everybody up to date with stuff and have all the nursing homes 
uh, with supplies and things. Yeah. So far, so good. Thank you again, Roger. Okay. And I'll try not to lose a contract of living on the post office. Right. <laughs> right. I'll make sure it gets in her office too. Okay. <laughs> and she isn't even here to hear that. <laughs> All right. And then we've got uh, JFS. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Couple oh, times a year. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So, what have you got today? Yeah, we have the submission of our percentage of income payment plan grant. Okay. Uh, the amount is just five thousand five seventy-three. Okay. We need the commissioner's approval. Yep. I'll make that motion. Second. Motion to vote. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you, Rex. Good Happy seeing you. Have Christmas. a good Christmas. Yep. Okay. Bye bye now. Bye. Okay. Uh, we have. Maintenance. Thank you. Good morning. How are y'all? Good morning. 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 So, uh, major came back a whole lot cheaper than uh, waste management did and everything. So, as much as I hate saying it, we're going to be switching out dumpsters and, so, and doing the whole works. But bringing it together as a group, so it has re really saved this county a whole lot of money in the last yeah. five, six years going this way. So. Have you used this company before? No, I have not. Where are they based on? Um, Leroy. Okay. Yeah, they're out on uh, Room and Room, I think it is. Out there. Okay. Yeah. I'll make that motion. So good. Motion to board? Yes. Motion to board? Right. Okay, good seeing you. Yep. Thank you. You all take care. Have a good day. Okay, Merry Christmas. Too, for Happy New Year. Doing this uh, year with everything. All right. So yeah. the other thing is, is uh, <coughs> well, this is the uh, the bond paperwork for our bond for the for the building. We went out uh, last week. Was out on the market. Uh, came back at one point two three two percent, which is really good. Um, we did we did have prior to that we were rated as a double way one. This is a bank qualified bond, so that got us an even lower rate. That's why we're doing the two separate bonding this one and then the one we'll do in January. So this is signed to approve and execute the signature of not of no litigation certificate, the official statement and certificate concerning the preliminary official statement and the official statement and further authorize the president of the board to execute the continuing disclosure agreement and the bond register agreement for the nine million six hundred twenty five thousand dollar county building improvement bond series twenty twenty. I'll make that motion. Second. Commissioner Yes. Okay, I'm going to weave through the pile here of what actually is. Here is the signature and notification certificate. Um, there's a line for each commissioner to sign. Okay. Um, and then the um, auditor and prosecutor also has to sign that as, um, as well as me. And then uh, Trevor. And then here is the concluding statement. Um, they did not provide lines. You just have to sign above your name. Okay. And again, same with the, um, the preliminary and official statement. Signature Okay. Okay. And then um, before you leave, I just have to have you each sign a piece of paper for the bond. Okay. So they're not actually sending the actual bond um, in the resolution. He was approved to put your signature on there. Um, <coughs> actually, courier the bond anymore, so they will be placed, and then the Huntington will put the actual wet signature on it and keep it in the vault. Okay, Jim. On this one here, there's no sticker, but make sure you sign the back page. Yeah, that's sure. copy. And then. 
Chuck is reviewing documents and then he will be signing them. Jim is coming down around 10 to do his and then we'll have Justin come in to do the rest. Okay. Can I get a motion to adjourn then? It's a move. Just has signed that that line, and then on the next page, the next page back, it has the okay. uh, name and because you just signed right here. Um, Ralph signed the vice president. So that's okay. enough. Okay, that's yeah. that's enough. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Red stickies are just vice president. Okay. And then Jim on this one, just make sure you sign that back page on this one too. Okay. Christine, uh, since the meeting is adjourned, I do have a question mm -hmm. regarding um, the bond, um, the last item. So, when when is there any word about when that instrument will be offered for uh, for the public uh, for for actual to review purchase? the documents? No, no, no. Oh. For actual purchasing of, of they have, they went out they went out to bid last week so to the, the banks for the first note which was the ten million dollar okay. and then in the middle of january they will go out for the second one which is the sales tax bond for the it's 20 million okay yeah. okay and both are tax free correct um well there's the interest rate that they got for the first one was the one point two percent three percent and that's for the yeah that's on the bond okay it's a little different from the notes that we've done in the past where when we did the note before it was renewed for every year they would make like a like a oh. payment and then it was renewed this one is not like that this is totally different this is actually a bond right so and it's continuing it has, a, it has a um, renewal option in five years maturity five, five years, years. Every five five years. years.